What's up all you lovely learners in learning land? Tyler from 10thumbspro.com coming at you with another guitar tutorial like we do every single Monday. Today we're breaking down the smash hit Someone You Love from the Scottish singer-songwriter Lewis Capaldi. As always, we'll have all the chords, strums, tabs on the screen, but you can get printable versions by becoming a Patreon for this tutorial and all our tutorials. 10 Thumbs T's up there too, plus Skype Lessons 101 if interested. But if you came just because you love this song, that's cool, I dig it and I respect it. Why don't you go ahead and grab your guitar? Brain and attention span, and once you have those three things, follow me on in and let's break this tutorial down together. Come on in, let's do it. Okay, right away you're gonna notice the capo is on the first fret. We are playing in the key of C sharp. Now, let's go ahead and just walk through how it would be if you were to strum it. You would have this C shape chord, G shape, A minor, and an F. It'd be one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And if you wanted to match that piano rhythm, you were just going to give it down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Down, up, 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 down up 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 boom and with that you could sing through 95 percent of the song there is a bridge but let's take a look at a finger picking pattern that i like for this one to try to get that vibe of the piano okay so what we're doing is our thumb is responsible for the bass so our thumb is going to be playing in this song both the E, A, and the G string at different moments. Sorry, the D string at different moments. But our index finger is gonna play this B string. Okay, now, as you get more advanced with it and more comfortable with the song, you can feel free to move your finger around from different high treble notes as well if you would like that. Is going to give it a nice balance but let's get the foundation first of something and you can always embellish it later it's going to go thumb index one and one and two and three and four and g chord same vibe one and two and three and four and but notice how my thumb went from the a to the g string we're gonna drop down, play it over our A minor chord, our thumb back to the A string, index finger still in the same spot, and then the F chord. Now, because we're doing a bar chord, this can be a little tricky. You could do, because you're only playing two notes, you could fret the first fret with your middle finger and the first fret of the B string with your index finger, but it's a good bar chord practice to try to articulate that note. I mean, you can see even for me, I'm struggling with it. But it's something that I guess I should be practicing more as well, articulating that particular note in that bar shape. It makes a, it's a little less of a difference when you're strumming, but when you finger pick, your finger position becomes much more important. Now, like I said, if that's just too hard, feel free to play this chord, okay? All right, so you put all that together and you get one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and... Yeah, that last time was a little better. So that is the verse and that is the chorus. That is 95% of the song. The only other piece of this song is the bridge and it's going to go D minor for a whole measure. One and two and three and four. A minor. One and two and three and four. G for a measure and a half. One and two and three and four and one and two. A minor. Three and four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Next time through, it's the same, but you won't go back to the A minor. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. And if you were to strum it, you would get one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three. Two and three and four and one and 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 two and three and four and 
then you get back to the verse. Now, notice that I finished on an upstrum. But we're still trying to get that piano vibe, right? We're still trying to stick with our piano vibe. So what we're going to do this time is our index finger still on that B string, but our thumb is going to be playing the D string over the D minor chord. One and two and three and four and to the A minor. One and two and three and four and to the G. One and two and three and four and G A minor. One and two and three and four and. You put that together, you get one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four, one and two and three and four and. Second time through, remember that we're gonna finish on the offbeat of that G. One and two and three and four and 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 one and two. And back into that piece. So why don't we go ahead and play through that pre-chorus and then we're going to play through the other loop four more times so you can see how the transition works from the pre-chorus. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and And there you have it. That's the whole tune, folks. New guitar tutorials every single Monday. See you next Monday for our next lesson. Take care. Have a lovely week. Cool, everybody. Thank you so much for watching the very end. Keep on loving life. Keep on playing guitar. And we'll see you next Monday for another tutorial. Again, think about becoming a Patreon. Get your 10 thumbs T. Let them know where you're learning. Skype Lesson 101 if you're interested. And until next time, rock and roll. Have a lovely day. Talk to you soon.